welcome back to my channel today we're going to make uh, a typical nigerian white rice and stew with chicken uh, for the purpose of this uh, video i'm going to do some frying frying uh, part of the chicken and then we i will bake the rest so the main one is the chicken that we're going to cook and fry and then the tomatoes that we need the onions so I'm just going to let you know that uh, I don't have the uh, fresh tomato that you used to know, the, um, the fruit ones because I already cooked them and stored them here in the bottle. If you, know, if you want to know how I did uh, the, sto the, the storing, I'm going to link a video on how I made the tomato sauce and then we're going to use um, red pepper tatachi and also a thin tomato we call that tomato paste so um yeah but if you have the raw tomatoes uh like i said i'm going to link a video there you see how i made mine but if not you can easily cut them into pieces and cook them for like 20 to 30 minutes and once the tomatoes separate from the water, you can sieve the water out and then blend it with your blender. That's it. So let's uh, get started. We're going to start with the chicken. I'm going to cut the chicken. Maggie sauce here. Uh, Maggie and then salt, curry, thyme, and curry. <clears throat> I don't know what is wrong with my voice today. Go ahead and mix. So now I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to, to start cooking on a very low heat, very low heat because I'm not adding any water. Chicken has lots of water in it and when I cook chicken, I don't add any water uh, at least from the, from the initial time, I don't add any water. I will cook the chicken to bring out the water in it and then that natural water I'm going to use to cook until it's done but it depends on the amount of chicken if you have few you probably need to add more water because I'm cooking a lot so I believe that the water from it should be enough for me to cook the, the chicken until it's done okay see you when I'm back so while the chicken is cooking I'm going to start frying the tomatoes. 
that might take uh, up to 20 to 30 minutes to fry so I want to start frying tomatoes on a, a separate pot while the chicken is cooking we're going to fry tomato peels first and the reason I'm doing that is that I want to uh, remove the sour taste in tomato paste. We're going to fry that before we add uh, the fresh tomatoes. We are going to fry the paste, tomato paste. We are going to fry it until the tomato separates from the oil. How to know that your tin tomato is ready is when it separates from the oil. So I will show you what I mean when I get to that point. This is how you know that the tomato is cooked. Remember I told you that I was going to do the tomato paste first to reduce the sour taste. So this is how you know that the sour taste is gone or is well cooked. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the, um, the raw tomato and the red pepper. I'm going to add the rest of uh, the ingredients. Meanwhile, the uh, chicken is frying and the other one is in the oven uh, baking. Chicken broth with water from the chicken. I'm going to add it here.
for the parboiling method, uh, parboil the rice in a, a hot boiling water for like uh, four minutes to five minutes and then rinse the rice with hot water too. I'm adding some salt and I will let it to cook. Okay, let's see how the rice is doing. Oh my God, it's been a very long day cooking rice, chicken and stew. So if you have watched this video to this point, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like and share, and we appreciate you. We thank uh, all our new subscribers and our old subscribers. Thank you so much for your views and your time encouraging us with your engagement. Thank you so much. Uh, this is what we've made. So I'm going to show you uh, the stew and everything all together. Okay. Okay, so this is the end product of all the time that we've spent cooking, making uh, white rice and stew. So let me think what, uh, let me know what you think about this video. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm on Facebook too. If you see me on Facebook, please follow us and that will help me to keep making more videos like this every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you for your time and see you next time.